I'm Kyle Joseph from Food Museum, and I'm here with Doug Sohn, exactly. uh, the uh, founder and former owner of Hot Dogs, a very famous case meat emporium here in Chicago. Yeah, thanks for uh, joining us today. It's my pleasure. It's a beautiful December day here in Chicago land, and Gordon. I had nothing else to do. Love it. I love it. Well, thanks again. And so tell us where we are. We are in front of the, the storage unit that is holding the remnants of what was Hot Dogs, the sausage store. There's a lot of, uh, there's some stuff in there. Well, we're, we're very excited to see it. So Want to take a look? Uh, let's crack it open. All right. Here um, we go. And, and learn some of the great things that are left over. Yeah, absolutely. I really hope no one's living in here. Oh, there we go. Awesome. This is, yeah. this is so fun. So we got some, this is it. 14 years of hard work. Boom. Done. Amazing. So yeah, this, is, this is really cool here. So this is Critical Links. This was Critical Links. This was a, uh, a friend of mine who said, hey, you know, we had talked about doing a timeline for a while. And when we moved to the second store, I told him, I was like, I have a wall. It's all yours. And this is what we came up with. And it's a little bit of a, a history. Some of it, people could argue it may not be totally <laughs> factual. But a little history of sausage from uh, from BC to the future. Yes. And uh, uh, this hung up in, uh, in hot dogs for just about, yeah, I'd say eight or nine years. And was a, was a customer favorite. Incredible. Absolutely. Man. We're big fans of history and the evolution of hot dogs. This Here it is. is. Beautiful insight right into that. Absolutely. Um, so, so much fun. So what we else? got some stuff up here. Let's see what else we got. We got some of our signs, menu signs that hung up on the wall. We got the Thuringer, and I could always tell the relative age of the customer ordering it, because if they said Henry Youngman, I knew that they were under 50, and the people who got it right were obviously as old as me. Fair um, enough. And you guys had some pretty regular customers, too, I mean, even we, though the line was usually between, what, two to four hours? Well, yeah, and at the end there, yes, at the end, absolutely. And if there's a polar vortex, not quite so long. <laughs> it is um, Chicago, after all. Exactly, but speaking of, speaking of regulars, yeah. so basically, here was my office uh, at the counter, and here uh, we have all our regulars, the people who order the same thing every time in careful alphabetical order, <laughs> and you can tell the age, combination either we had blue tickets for a while, um, or the amount of grease uh, and tears that were on. We got some that are a little greasy that you can tell. Uh, it took about three years for me to realize that, well, if I just kept getting the same ticket back, then I would, you know, just stick it in there and didn't have to write it every time. And sure. people would ask for their usual. Uh, we had some other nice things here. Oh, I forgot about this. This was actually the card I used to order bread every day. I would write down the numbers. Oh, it was the height of tech back yeah. in the back oh, in, yeah. in, the, in the in the days. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever it takes you the job done. I mean, you guys, this is a really an operation that was you, right? Pretty much. Um, yeah, I mean. I pretty much took every, not pretty much, I did take every order and we tried to avoid uh, any semblance of computer and uh, uh, any real POS or, or certainly every once in a while someone would ask if there's Wi-Fi and it was like, no, I want you to leave. So there's no, there was, there was nothing. Uh, and then we, although we had a fax machine okay. that of course like died like four days before the closing. And, which was fine, except we, I had it for one reason, electrical audio, the recording studio that was around the corner on Belmont, would fax in an order every couple of days. So, four days left, I had to call them and say, just phone in the order, just, I'm not buying the fax machine. Four days yeah, precisely about, right, they seem uh, to be okay with that. Of technology. Yeah, precisely, exactly. And there's there's so much, uh, I mean, of you in this, and so yeah. much of, of just who you were that you put into hot dog. I mean, for example, the, that. the duck fat fries, which are... It's so famous. Exactly. Yeah, that sort of took a life. Well, it took on a life of its own in a way. So a lot of people would ask. So we have the sign here, and it's named for uh, my friend Greg Baker, not Ginger Baker, as some people ask. And the quick story is a friend of mine who I actually met. We happened to be vacationing in, in France at the same time. This sounds very hoity toity. Yeah. Uh, and he took me to this bistro in Bordeaux where they have this cauldron of duck fat in like the center of the restaurant in the fireplace. 
And that's where I first had like things, you know, fries. And I always remember that. This was years before I opened the restaurant. And so we did this a little tribute to him, and he, he passed away before the restaurant opened. Uh, but we uh, uh, did have his uh, shoes, which are covered in actual hot dogs, dust, and uh, probably some duck grease. Fat. It's oh, oh, highly likely. Uh, <laughs> so you're gonna be very proud of that. Exactly, yeah. and they sat atop the Coke cooler, so I wasn't really worried about dusting them. Obviously, um, everything else was relatively clean. Uh, and so, yeah, there's some stuff. We have the uh, the, the hot dog uh, uniform here. Uh huh. Very which, important. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You got to have one of those. You've worn this I before. wore this once uh, Halloween. I was doing a little uh, a gig for a, uh, my girlfriend, who's a caterer, okay. and I was outside dipping taffy apples, uh, uh, wearing this. Um, fall, it's fine. Not the best thing to wear in the summer. I can see no, that. a little. Probably, not, I wouldn't yeah. say breathing is what this material <laughs> does not do. For it. No, not it, at all. Exactly. So I was curious to uh, the, the baseball yeah. bat's an interesting thing. That's one I, I haven't seen before. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> why I put it? I put it behind the counter. You know, maybe I just saw too many movies, and fortunately never had to use it. Which, gotcha. which, which was uh, I was pleased about that, and most likely it would have. If I had to, it would have probably been used on me. So, fortunately, <laughs> it is, stayed behind the counter. This is Gotham City after all. Right, precisely right. 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 Oh, oh again, high, big security. Yes. Uh, uh, so forth. But yeah, let's see what else. What else? Yeah. The bust of Elvis that stood also right next to the shoes. Oversaw a little, you know, talisman for, uh, for the restaurant. We have our street sign, which... Uh, was on the front counter right in front of me, uh -huh. um, and you could read it, you know, any way you like. I'm just saying, it was, you know, away. Uh -huh. uh, one all of these, the signs, I did a book tour, yeah. we had a little poster. I think we have here, oh, just in case, and it's not quite as the famous as the Empire Carpets, but hey. we do have our phone number from the uh, from the arrow sign that was outside the restaurant. Awesome. So we got some pieces in here. We got our special sign, which still has yeah. a number of the specials, and I think one's missing because someone uh, asked for it, like on the last day. Hey, can I have that sign? I was like, absolutely. One last thing I need to store. Sure. Absolutely. So what was, uh, I guess, to take us back to, to the sure. end, what was the last hot dog you served? Now there's a bunch of uh, hoopla about that. Yes, so there were, in, in theory, the last order was mine. Okay. I came, Paul Kelly, who was uh, not only the bratwurst, but the person who had the bad hot dog, which is why hot dog started, I made him stand behind the counter. I was in front of the counter. I ordered a hot dog after trying to, you know, order from him. <laughs> uh, great, fun, restaurant done. 20 minutes later, I turned to my staff and said, hey, can I have my hot dog? I hadn't eaten yet. Gotcha. And they looked at me like, what hot dog? <laughs> they thought I was so it joking. Was, it was forgotten. Yeah. The first yeah. order was yeah, absolutely. Lost. So I probably, fired, I fired them all right there on the spot. <laughs> yeah, probably I was the, waiting all day. The first order not fulfilled the hot dog. It's possible. Yeah, yeah it was perfect. All the time it was there. Exactly. So technically, the second to last customer had the last hot dog. Awesome. I'm still a little bitter about it, by the way, <laughs> many months later. So, so we're so excited to be here again just with you. Uh, and we're taking a peek inside history. Uh, this was sure. part of, of In Case Meet More. Yeah, um, and we're excited to have you involved in, in our work to open Foodsium, uh, which is coming Can't soon. Wait. As we try and create an exhibit around the hot dog and In Case Meet of the World, uh, to have you with us. And hopefully we can put some of this great stuff in the exhibit. Hopefully you can put all of this stuff <laughs> in the exhibit. You just pull a truck. If we could somehow tip this into the truck, I'm in. I mean, definitely, I, there's many great things here, I think. Uh, most importantly, you probably want our invoices from 2007, 11, <laughs> and 12. Yeah. Just for, you know, for, for it's like the, the Rosetta Stone in it, there. It the, is. The presidential papers, it is. Uh, as it were. This is what made how the, much the, beast, dogs cost. the beast ran. Uh, this this exactly. was the, the behind it all. Like, so thank you again. We are very excited, and uh, we'll be honored. To, to really uh, put a tribute to Hot Dogs Museum. Uh, and it's, incredibly it's, it's great to have you with us. So. Well, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, if you could close that up, I'm just going to sit here and cry. <laughs> now. Well, all right, so we'll, we'll take it easy. I, this is a mistake. <laughs> Feed your curiosity.